How do showers work in boot camp? You hygiene at least once a day. It's actually like a rule, a law. You must and you will hygiene at least once a day. You do about four minutes. They do like one half of the compartment first and then the second half of the compartment. They'll do like starboard side. You have six minutes. Go. So you run with all your stuff into the head and then you strip down. You stay in the water for like two or three minutes, four if you're pushing it. And then they're screaming at you the whole time to get out and you get out. There are posts. They're like poles with six shower heads and a bunch of females all scrambling around trying to get a shower head. And uh, you have to come out of the bathroom with your shoes completely laced and not having a towel on your head and you have to be put together. So I think I mentioned it before in one of my videos. If you're one of the first, if you're one of the last people out of the head, you'll probably get head crew, which means you have to clean the bathroom. Or if you come out with a towel on your head or you look kind of unsat or you just look some kind of way they told you not to look, you'll be in the head crew. And then uh, another question was about getting your clothes. How do you, how do they wash your clothes? Well, sometimes we, we wore our sweatpants and our sweat top through P-Days. We wore it for like almost three weeks straight without washing them at all, our sweatpants, which was disgusting. But you wear what they call your birthday suit, which is your PT shorts and your blue t-shirt, which is like your underwear, but you are never without clothes. You wear your sports bra when you sleep. You wear, you wear everything when you sleep. You cannot be undressed. But um, eventually they'll come with a, you'll have everything stenciled. There will be a day where you stencil all of your clothes and your socks go inside knit bags that you stencil also. And you just, whenever the laundry, there there's going to be laundry POs. And they're the ones that are responsible for doing laundry. There's a laundry, there's like a laundry room area in the compartment. You send your NWUs out, though, to get laundered, but it all cycles through. Then when it's all clean, they throw it in the middle of the compartment, and you march around in a circle, or however they distribute it, you get it distributed. And uh, Oh My Gosh Risa says that they can keep, that y'all can keep your hair now as long as you can keep it in a bun. And it's not out of regs, which is like, oh my gosh, so many people had to cut their hair. But oh my gosh, Risa says that they're allowed to have buns now in boot camp, which is brand freaking new to me. And um, Mr. Andrew317 asked about folding. I have my whites. I have my whites right right here. Because I'm going to have an inspection tomorrow. I have to, I have to, I have to do stuff. But... How to fold t-shirts or anything. I'm actually going to wear this one for inspection because it's new. How can I do this? How can I make this happen? Hmm. a bunch of questions back with just uh, via text. <laughs> Yo, I don't know how to show you how to fold things because this is just not, this is not, oh here we go, maybe that'll do, okay, okay, okay. This is a shirt, this is how they have you fold shirts. It's inside out. It shouldn't be inside out. They're very meticulous. You will learn how to fold an iron, and it'll, they're going to be so anal about it, you're going to be like, you're going to lose your mind, right? You will. You lose your mind. <sighs> I can't fit the whole shirt in the shot, so forgive me. But to fold a t-shirt, when you fold, you will have absolutely no wrinkles in this bitch. Like, how I have wrinkles. You'll, they'll call these your recruit irons, and you'll iron out all the wrinkles, but I'm not going to do all that. You fold the bottom to the top of the collar so that it's freaking perfect, right? Absolutely perfect. Then you fold in the sleeves. And then you fold, and you'll take notes on folding. Bloop! Like that. And you'll have a 
to, to remember how to fold it because some because you you have to fold it this way to this way not this way to this way like it gets confusing because people will try to fold the third up instead of folding the third down but you need to end up with how our RDC um, helped us to remember there's an airplane is uh, two fat people between the sheets because mm -hmm. see how the two in the middle are fatter well, if I had this pressed and ironed like I'm supposed to, you'd be able to tell. But there's two fat people between the sheets. And that's how you fold a shirt and socks. Mm -hmm. Let me get a good old pair of socks. These are not boot camp issued socks. These I bought at the next after I got here. You lay one on top of the other. And you put the toe to the heel, then you roll, and uh, you have to roll this bitch tight, like this, it's really tight, sorry it's hard to see because it's uh, black, but when you have it rolled, you take the outside one and you flip it around.